Hi there, welcome to PageLayer, I am your PageLayer buddy, and in this video I am going to be showing you how to use list widget. Let's start by dragging and dropping the list widget from the left widget panel. Here, on the left hand side you will see different properties of your list widget. Moreover, on the right side is the display screen of your site, where you can view the live changes of your website. You can set the name of your list by just clicking on the list item and give the name over here. You can set also the URL to your list item or can choose the URLs of different pages from the list of links displayed. Next is the show icon from where you choose the icon to be displayed or not by just enabling or disabling this show icon toggle. Let's keep it enable for now. You can also set the icon to your list from the list of icons. Let's choose one for now. You can also duplicate your list item by clicking on this duplicate item or can also delete by clicking on delete option. You can also add new list item by clicking on add list item. You can move your list up or down just going to three lines on the left side. You can set style to your list from here. For setting the space between two list items, you can do so from here. You can also set the left spacing of list items from here. Next is text style tab from where you can set the style to your text. You can also choose the state in which you have to display the styling to your text as normal or hover. Let's set the text color by going to this color option. You can also set the background color from here. From here you can set the topography to your list widget. First is the font family where you can set the font family to your list items. Page layer consists of more than 100 Google fonts. You can choose as per your need from the list of fonts by just typing the font name in the search bar. Let's choose Montserrat font for our list items. Next is the font size, from where you can set the size of your list item with selected font family. Next is the font style, where you can change the style of your font to normal, oblique and italic. Let's choose font style as default for now. Next is the font weight, from where you can choose the weight of your font. There are list item of different font weights available. Let's choose 400 for our list item. Next is the font variant, where you can choose the variance of your font to normal or small caps. Let's choose default for now. Next is the decoration line from where you can choose the line decoration to your list item from the list of line decorations viz. None where no line will be displayed, overline where the line will be displayed on the top of the list item, line through where the line will be displayed on the list item, underline where the line will be displayed at the bottom of the list item, and underline overline where the line will be displayed on the top as well as at the bottom to the list item. Let's choose default for now. Next is the line height from where you can specify the height of the line to your list item. Next is the text transform from where you can choose the text transformation to capitalize, uppercase, and lowercase. Let's choose capitalize for now. Next is the text spacing from where you can set the space between your text alphabets. Next is the word spacing, from where you can set the space between different words in your content. For setting the space between icon and list name, you can do so by setting this indent from here.
Next is Icon Style tab from where you can style to your icons. You can choose the state in which you have to style your list as normal or hover from here. You can also set the color by going to this color option. And can also set the icon size from here. Next is Divider tab where you can set the divider between the two list items. You can set the type of divider you want from the list of divider type viz. None, solid, double, dotted, dashed, groove. Let's choose solid for now. Let's set the color to your divider from here. You can also set the border width, from here. Don't forget to save your changes. To save your work click the update option. To preview your work click on this eye icon and you are good to go. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to pagelayer.com slash docs.